Welcome to the 13th day. I'm going to try to do this. I just feel the Holy Spirit so strongly. Hebrews 10, 25 says this, not forsaking our own assembling together as some are in the habit of, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Do you know that it's God's heart for us to assemble together? It's God's heart for us to encourage each other. It's God's heart that his people love each other. I want to pray twofold here. One, let's pray for those that have stopped going to church. Maybe they've gotten the habit. Maybe they, they've gotten offended and they, they've gone off. And let, let's pray that they would come back. And let's also pray for those that they're, they're, they're sick or, or they're hurt and they can't get out of their house and they can't assemble together. Do you know the Lord loves them so much? And they might feel lonely and they might feel like they've been forgotten, but the, but the Lord has not forgotten them. And so it's so important. Let's pray together and let's pray. And maybe you're watching this and you're saying, you know what? I've been somebody who's been forsaking the gathering. There's just too much politics. There's too many hypocrites. Um, I, I love what, what Dave Hogan said once. He said, he said, I'd rather worship Jesus with the hypocrites in church than burn with them in hell. I just think we have to kind of get over, get over, just get over being offended and being holding on to things that people have done wrong. And we, we come into a place where we say, Lord, I'm going to gather together because there is a, there is a koinonia fellowship, a spiritual fellowship that only happens when we gather together. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you're so precious. Holy Spirit, you're so precious. You're here and you're so precious. Lord, we pray for those who are neglecting the gathering. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would just move on their heart, that you would give them the gift of, of the understanding of their value. Yeah, you're so valuable. You're so valuable. Every person is so valuable. I pray for those that think they're too mature and they're, they're over the, the teaching and they, they know better. Lord, I pray that they would understand that nothing replaced the gathering together. that those, for whatever excuse, are not gathering. Lord, I pray that you would just put it on their heart to be a part of this beautiful and precious people that you've shed your blood for. Father, we pray together today for those who can't make it out of their homes. Lord, elderly people who are, who are I don't want to say stuck, but you know they're just not able to, to get out like they once were able to. Lord, I pray for those that maybe they're injured, they're hurt, Father, I pray, Lord, that a fresh anointing would come upon them. I pray for healing upon them. I pray for hope to come into that room. I pray for fresh encounter, Lord. We pray together, God, for those, God, that can't get out like they once used to, Lord. Father, we pray that you would just touch them, God, and that the gathering of the brethren, the gathering of the saints of God, Father, they would feel and know that they are part of that every time they come into worship. There'd be such a grace that would fill that room, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, the praying grandmas and the praying grandpas, God, Lord, that you would be with them, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And we pray, I, I, Lord, I, I pray for those, even the Victory House, Lord, who, who haven't gathered together or who have left church and never come back or they're not part of a body. I bless them, Father, in Jesus' name. And I pray that you would bring them back to church, whether here or somewhere else, but a place where they could gather to know you. So we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.